Hi everybody, welcome to Simply Scuba. In today's video, I'm gonna be taking a closer look at the Apex Lifeline 45 meter spool. So this is an upgraded version of the, uh, the previous Lifeline spool. Uh, it's had a few minor upgrades. It's had some uh, cosmetic upgrades as well to make it look a little bit cooler. Uh, yeah, let's take a closer look. So this is how it arrives uh, in a sort of cardboard wrap, as it were, it's not a complete box. This is like a, um, a hybrid shop display and protective display because it, it protects it when it's in this mode and then you can flip it up and it becomes a, a sort of a shop hanging display. Uh, you get a 11 centimeter stainless steel bolt snap and the spool itself, which is like twisty tied onto it, uh, Let's take a closer look. So first of all, it comes with a stainless steel bolt snap. This is about 11 centimeters long, so decent size, even if you've got gloves on. Uh, the piston is nice and smooth, uh, decent action on those. So that is a nice double ender. Keep hold of that. Don't let your mates steal that. The spool itself, uh, yeah. So the main body is made out of anodized aluminum. So it's lightweight and strong. So it can take a cylinder falling over on it and brush that off, uh, but it's not gonna add too much weight to your thigh pocket or wherever you're storing it. It's had a few upgrades over the previous version. The first one is around these edges. You have this uh, sort of hardened plastic material. So that was an area that used to wear out on the previous version because it was just the metal. So they've reinforced that, still has crenellation uh, something to grab hold of around the sides. So when you're holding on to it, it gives you something to grip hold of. And other than that, around the sides, you can see that the holes aren't just perfect circles. They've widened those, which just gives you a bit more space to be able to thread line through, but it's not overspun like you get on some cheaper spools. Uh, you have 45 meters of line and you don't have to cut any off um, to physically use it. Other than that, you get a full cut through and a very smooth section around the side. So if you use a pinch grip, uh, you have plenty of grip, but it's smooth as well, so it can turn freely. The line itself is two different types of lines. So we have Eldred and Dyneema line, uh, two slightly different things for different uh, sort of uses. The first one in that leader. So the leader is where the loop comes in and that's what you're going to attach onto items. So they used a, um, a stronger line that just makes it, it's a bit more abrasion resistant. So if you're tying it off for jump lines or whatever, uh, it, it's a bit stronger basically. Another thing that they've done is instead of just tying knots to, uh, to tie off that leader, they've actually stitched the two sides together, which just makes it stronger because they worked out when you tie knots, certain sections of the knot end up wearing out faster than others. So it becomes a weak point. Whereas if you have it all stitched, it's nice and strong and resilient. And right at the very tip, they have this uh, sort of heat shrink section, which just gives you something to, um, to push and pull when you're threading it through the sides, it's quite nice to have something like semi-rigid to be able to poke through. And when you're trying to untie a knot, instead of just having to sort of pick it, especially if you've got gloves on, there's no chance, but if you've got a nice big section of the, uh, the knot sticking out, you can pull on that and it comes free. It just makes your life a lot easier. Moving down, you have a stainless steel swivel joint. So instead of the line twisting and twisting when you're winding it back on, it just allows it to untwist itself whilst you're winding it back. Just avoids twists and tangles. And then onto the main section of the line, which is this bright orange tape. Instead of a round line, the tape, I personally find it, it just makes it a little bit easier to untangle it because you can separate it a little bit better. And because it's bright orange, stands out against blue and green waters. So it's very high vis, very easy to see in all conditions. And again, instead of tying knots, they've stitched that section. So again, it's very, very strong. When you are winding it back up, you can see this actually has flared sides instead of just parallel sides. Again, making your life much easier when you're in the water. So instead of skipping a, a, um, a wind, you actually funnel it into the center. So it's much easier to wind in when you're in the water. And that's the Apex Lifeline 45 meter spool. A, a good strong all rounder. 45 meters is plenty for most scuba divers. Uh, you have a lot of redundancy on that. So you have to be quite deep to, uh, to send a uh, DSMB up at that point. But it's always nice to have that kind of redundancy. And because it's color coded, the other versions, if you do have a different one, you can physically see which one it is. And even if you can't see the color at depth, you can see it's actually written on the side. So it's very easy to make sure 
that you've grabbed the correct spool. There's gonna be more information on our website, simplyscuba.com. Click on the link down in the description below if you wanna check it out and buy it from us at Simply Scuba. Thank you for watching everybody, and of course, safe diving.